Can you feel it? Can you feel it? (laughs) How, in this moment in time that we have together, can we co-creatively take all of us to this freaking precipice of realization where we are right now and push so much further the boundaries of our own consciousness? In a way that you know, but you're not expecting this to say right now, by wanting to feel good, period. By just following the path of happy. By just looking for the thought that is the most exciting to you right here and now. And mostly it means not trying to drive to it, drive forward to it. It means accepting that it's there, that it's there for all of us, that it's there and that Individually, our work is to get into that place of feeling good and let law of attraction give us the next piece and the next 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 and the next. This conversation that we're about to have couldn't have happened without that conversation that we just had. And that conversation that we just had couldn't have happened without the remarks that we offered to you in the beginning. And the remarks that we offered to you in the beginning couldn't have happened if you all had not gathered collectively as who you are. And you couldn't have gathered collectively as who you are if you hadn't been living what you've been living. In other words, everything is just forward, forward, forward into the powerful now. And what this now is, is the place, is the junction where the whole of you in your vortex meets the physical you. And that is the explosion of creation right here and now. In other words, this is the meeting of who you really are and who you are allowing yourself to be as best you can right here and now is what that precipice always is, you see. Because until what is known by source explodes into your conscious physical mind and becomes a reality out here on the leading edge, it hasn't come to its full maturation. And the satisfaction that you are feeling when you said, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Is the energy and the momentum and the exhilaration that source feels when source knows that what we know is now being known by you. It's lighting up in all of your brains. It's lighting up. Your path before you is altered. The rendezvous points that you have with the people and the things that are important to you has just come into a clearer place. It's creation. It's the expansion of the universe. It's beingness. It's aliveness. And it is so natural. And let's use some more words. It's inevitable. It's easy. It's ease and flow. It's ease and flow. It's ease and flow. Just relax. Take a moment right now and just relax because you're trying too hard to understand this. Trying too hard to understand it when the truth of it is you already know it. And most of the answer to your important question rests in this one word me worthy me in the right place me not needing to do something different than what I'm doing me just accepting the goodness and the rightness and the perfection of the rendezvous between my vortex and me standing here and now so think about it what's more fun this conversation or moving to music. You won't hurt our feelings. It's moving to music. (laughs) It is. What's more fun? This intellectual conversation of wanting to figure things out. Or did you look out your window this morning? Have you seen this place? Can you feel the perfection of this planet? What's more life-giving, you see? We don't have to get into an intellectual cramp where we're trying so hard to figure it out. Just rendezvous with you. You can't help it. And when you rendezvous with you and it feels really good, follow it. And when you rendezvous with you and it doesn't feel so good, follow it. You've got no choice. Let the momentum take you where it takes you, but let your intention be to get out ahead of it in a happier way, to get out ahead of it in a happier way. Let your intention be to feel as good as you can feel and then watch interests bloom and rendezvous be more. Just watch yourself become more alive. That's really what we're talking about here. This whole conversation, everything that you've ever heard us talking about ever, ever, ever is about you letting more of you be you in this moment of use. 
because things are always working out always working out always working out and to the degree that you relax and allow yourself to see it then you have ease and joy and clarity and fun it's not about figuring it out you know mathematics simple mathematics mathematics can be complicated but it doesn't get more complicated math is pretty simple the formulas are pretty simple and once you've got them you can apply them to things to everything Esther looks at some of these magnificent bridges and she wonders how can it be so beautiful and so structurally sound also she remembers earlier clunkier bridges that were solid many of which are still standing but they don't have the grace and flow that so many of the new structures do because the mathematicians and engineers have figured things out they know what they're doing because they understand the basis they don't have to build a bridge and then it falls down and then they build it again better and then it falls down and then they build it again they know their mathematics their engineering lets them know and that's what we're talking about here you understand the building blocks of the universe you understand that it's vibrational and that you have an emotional sensor that lets you know how you're doing. And you understand that you are so old and so long in this world. You know that you are an extension of something, that there is a momentum of goodness and wholeness that is behind you, that when you tap into it, then you get to continue it. But if you are disconnected from that knowing, which you are not anymore, if you're disconnected from the power of who you are, then you can't enjoy the proceeding, even though you can't stop proceeding. That's the thing that is so ironic about most humans. You can't stop your motion forward, but in not understanding what it's about, you're afraid as you move forward. Afraid and guarded and worried about what's going on when instead you should just be romping forward like the little ones. They went right out to the edge of the Grand Canyon. Ah. <laughs> they don't jump in they don't fall in they don't want to go down there they want to see it though they want to see it and so do you you see but you don't stand back stand back from everything fun stand back from the fun stand back from everything new too because it might be fun and it might not be so don't go there stand back stand back stand back stand back when what you really want to do is just romp forward but you can't romp forward without conscious knowledge of the connection of your well-being you see can't you just feel like there's nothing serious going on here? Can't you sort of feel like you can't get it wrong no matter how hard you try? <laughs> can't get it wrong. Everything's all right. Don't you feel like you've sort of just pushed the reset button? Don't you feel sort of new in the world? You are, but don't you feel sort of new in the world? You see, there's a tendency to think that your inner being who knows everything about you everything about where you are in relationship to everything that you are everything you want your inner being knows where you want to be in relationship to where you are relative to everything but your inner being unlike you feels no urgency about you getting there you know why because your inner being is there so there's no urgency about you getting there because as far as your inner being is concerned you already are there but when you start measuring and you place the lack in the equation then you feel the urgency but you don't need to so what we want to do what we would like you to feel with us is the perfection of the moment in which you stand Esther was talking with her friend as they were flying and they were talking about time talking about how fast time is moving talking about how fast this year has moved and talking about how fast these years are moving and it put Esther into a time shortageness feeling for just a moment she doesn't want to feel time passing so fast and so they were talking about there is only now now there's only now there was then but there's only now and there will be more but the continuum of time really is irrelevant because it's all happening right now it's just right now there's now and now and now and now this is going to take a while and it's going to be boring now and now this now and now it's just now and now but in this now what's happening in this now the only thing that matters in this now is the relationship between the non-physical part of you and the physical you in other words how much of what you have been asking for even before you came into this body and a whole lot since are you in vibrational receiving mode of right now 
right now how much are you allowing right now and if there is the sensation that I have more to do then you mess it up or I should have done more then you mess it up but if you could find a way to love yourself into feeling the perfection of now I'm exactly where I mean to be I'm exactly where I am meant to be I'm in this perfect point in time and I am often in this state of receiving then your world is just going to continue to unfold in the way that you want it to be the only thing that makes you anxious is a tug of war an energetic introduction by you of resistance into this mix of who you are so you've heard this so many times that you could each and every one of you speak it as clearly as Esther is going to translate it for us right now but you were source energy and still are but in your physical body you don't always allow all of the source energy that is you that's a problem for you because when you don't allow it you feel tension when you don't allow it you feel fear when you don't allow it you want to argue with others about the right way to live but when you are in sync with that broader part of you so that in this now all of you is here now you're clever and you're light and you're flexible and you're healthy you're well you're having fun you are brilliant you are interfacing you are we you find yourself setting each other up for funny things and nobody cares who says the funny thing the setup mattered as much as the funny thing that was said you find yourself doing this delicious dance with one another when you are in this now in sync with who you are and that really is the only thing that we ever need to talk about now am I in sync with who I am or not and if I'm not I should take a nap because I'm not going to fix it with my thoughts I'm not going to fix it with my demands I'm not going to fix it by beating up on someone else and I'm not going to fix it by beating up on me I cannot control this into being I can only feel it into being so everything that you're living all day every day now 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 there's one thing and one thing only that matters and that is what is my your our we us what is our what is my relationship with that broader part of me what is it what is it ease tells the story ease says I'm on it and we're walking like the mod squad down Main Street in other words <laughs> we're on it we're on it we got everything that we need can you hear the music in the background we've got it going on we're ready for whatever and it's gonna be a fine day it's gonna be a really fine day one fine moment after one fine moment where I just go from wonderful experience to wonderful experience on a myriad of subjects all kinds of things I'm just me and I'm alive and I'm allowing my inner being to flow through me my wise wise really old 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 wise wise eager 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 about life inner being flowing through me and I get the experience of blending with all of that I'm no longer separating myself from the whole of who I am I'm allowing the whole of who I am to flow through me here and now I don't even need words I can just stand in the beingness I can turn my face to the Sun I can see colors and depths and breadths of things that I've never seen or known before it's just me moving through this world alive intoxicated with life I'm so glad to be here and so worthy of all of this good stuff that's flowing to me and through me right now and you're beautiful and you're beautiful and you're beautiful and that's beautiful and here's a hundred dollars and you're beautiful and you're beautiful and I'm in love with life and thank you for that and I'm eating this cookie this great big old beautiful cookie. life is good when you allow your inner being to walk and roam the earth with you you see and we always are we always are, we are always, always with you.